What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. New year, new setup, new phone, who dis? But actually though, we have the first thrift haul of 2018. And I'm going to let you know that it is probably the best thrift haul that you're ever going to see on YouTube. Because honestly, it has been over a month, over a month since my last thrift haul. That is the longest that I have not posted a thrift haul in over two years. I have so much stuff to show you guys. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Melissa. We have a lot of fun here, a lot of fashion, a lot of thrifting, a lot of not very much beauty. Subscribe for more notification. Bish, what? Subscribe for more videos, fashion videos, more thrifting videos. If you have not seen my latest trip to the thrifts, make sure to go check those out because they are a very fun time. Thank you so, so much for being here. I love you guys. Make sure to follow me on all my social media. My Instagram is at Threads Obsessed. My Depop is Melissa8, which you will see almost everything that I show you guys listed up onto my depop so make sure to go check that out you know bring your cash bring your coin bring your daddy's credit card you know so without further ado let's get right into this video wait wait wait, wait. hold <laughs> so as you guys know, or if you do not know, I actually, on my Depop, have something called Threads Boxes, where I, Melissa, pick out five items for you guys. It costs $59.99. Last month, or a month and a half ago now, I released my first set of Threads Boxes. There was only 30 available, and because they sold out, and because you guys had all asked me for more, and when are they coming back, I'm gonna release 30 more starting right now, as soon as you see this video. This boxes is live. If you have not got your hands on one, make sure to go check those out. My Depop, you can get all of the information and that you would like, but basically it's pretty lit, so go check them out. I will leave it all in the description box, the link to my Depop, everything, so make sure to go check it out. But now, let's get into this thrift haul. We are gonna do this all in sections. If you're new to my thrift haul, they are pretty big. There's a lot of stuff to show you guys. Yeah, I do it in sections, so the first section that we're going to start with is sweaters, because it is freezing here in Canada. Sweaters are essential. It was literally negative 40 yesterday. I could see my breath. I couldn't even feel my Finger. Let's get it. Oh, the first sweater and probably the most flame sweater. It is this Tommy Hilfiger sweater. And yes, I say Tommy Hilfiger, really weird. Get over it. It is this white Tommy Hilfiger sweater. It says Tommy on one side and Hilfiger on the other. So that, that is definitely staying in my wardrobe. I am the queen of stripes. I love stripes. I literally pick up every stripe piece at the thrift right now. I am obsessed. I've always loved stripes for some reason, especially Colleen. Shout out Colleen. She knows every time we go shopping I'm like this is cute and she's like yes because it's stripes you love stripes you need another stripe shirt put it down but I do however and a lot of thrift and they're pretty inexpensive so I'm able to pick them up this one though oh my gosh lime green and dark green colorway also check out my nails how cute like this lime green and the forest green colorway and it is Tommy Hilfiger flag right on the sleeve there I love this one this one is definitely staying in my wardrobe okay moving on to the next one I actually found two sweaters that are by the same brand. I don't really know. It's a no-name type of brand, but they're like these really cute crop sweaters, obviously. Uh, another striped sweater, but this one is like a turtleneck. It's like that chenille material or whatever, and this one, it looks so bomb on. Like, when I put this on, I was like, ooh, like this may have to stay in my wardrobe. It is so cute. I love the, like, white lining. I love the material. So comfortable, so cute. The sleeves are, like, a little bit long, a little more bell sleeve. This sweater, though, I saw at the thrift, and I was like, hey, that's, like, looks like it's something from, like, like Forever 21 or something like that. Like something that is a remade vintage looking item. Turns out it's really vintage. It's like an old school sweater. Like doesn't this look like something that you would see like online now like at a fast fashion retailer? Also, I was kind of shook. Like look at that tag. Like that is definitely an old school tag. But look at this. It is yellow and white and it has exclamation mark all across the front of it. The next sweater obviously stripes. One that I think I might keep also. This is like really difficult for me to give away because it is Gap. I love all old school gap vintage gap yes 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 vintage gap denim <gasps> so I found this sweater and it's not a turtleneck but it is like a scoop neck looks really cute I love the colorway all like just bright colors in general you guys know if you're new here I love color the next sweater that I picked up is actually in the little boy sweater and it looks so cute on so it is this Tommy Hilfiger sweater but it's a little boy sweater so it's 
it's really small so it looks like a cute like crop sweater you know shows a little bit of tummy a little bit more scandy but honestly I really like the look of it you'll see it in the picture better but I love this cobalt blue then I came across I actually find these shirts quite a bit and I love them I feel like they're such an essential for the wardrobe it's like this kind of turtleneck Ralph Lauren polar Ralph Lauren with the flag plain blue type of color the next one is this amazing like I don't even know what this is called kind of like mohair but not really mohair you know what I mean so I found this one but I love this purple color I just thought it was so cute and then again with these above again with these fluffy fuzzy sweaters so this one actually just totally reminds me of something that you would see on UNIF this also might stay in my wardrobe because I just think it's so like funky and different and cute so yeah it's just big and like oversized and has like a cute little turtleneck situation going on it's cobalt blue oh would you look at that we have some more striped sweaters so again another colorful stripe I just love the different colors that you see at the thrift like the different combinations of colors this one is just so different like with the green and the pink and the yellow like yes kind of reminds me of Easter I'm not gonna lie and then this one here is just sunshine almost like it just like very like sunset eyes imagine this with like a sunset eye look oh my gosh along with those like weird looking sweaters I also found this one and I found a few of these orange burnt orange colored ones living for burnt orange too so I found this one again it looks like like sunshiny type of sunset sweater I don't know what this material is kind of reminds me of like paper mache is that paper mache okay and then this one which has been on my Depop for like a few weeks now and I am so surprised that no one has copped it because I want it and like I'm like why like maybe this is a sign that I should keep it it's this bright yellow chap Ralph Lauren sweater like this is such an essential it's in that yellow colorway and like and then obviously some good old DKNY jeans sweaters I find a ton of these these are just essential and great to have in your wardrobe and then obviously another Tommy sweater so I have this Tommy Hilfiger one with the good old embroidery right on the front I've actually been coming across a plethora of these types of sweaters this one is a navy blue I had a red and like a cobalt blue one which was pretty cool third Kelvin Klein piece I love Kelvin Klein it is this white sweater and it says Kelvin Klein jeans all up the front it's like this zip up but you could honestly wear it like tucked in you know with high-waisted pants look really cool with like the zipper done up I thought that was really cute okay moving on to some tops we're trying to go pretty fast I know that sometimes that bugs people but honestly I have so much stuff to go through and I'm not down to edit 70 hours of footage so we're gonna go pretty fast first came across which this I'm probably keeping for myself because I feel like it's pretty essential and it's really cute and it just goes with everything it's this ringer American apparel t-shirt and like American Apparel is like technically vintage now because they're like out of out of business. And then I also found this pink leopard print top. This is just so cute. Just reminds me of like early 2000s like Paris Hilton vibes. Else this is like all the stuff on the top is like stuff that I'm finally keeping. But it is this red. Oh my gosh. <gasps> that is such a look. Imagine this over top of this sweater. Like yes I'm totally vibing with that. So I found this red um like lingerie piece actually but I'm gonna wear it as a tank top. I just thought it was really cute. I love like I really like the silk. I've never found one this perfect. Like I always look in the lingerie section for these types of tops and this one to me is just the perfect red and then the next piece that I found another piece of a leopard you'll see that there's a lot of leopard or like cheetah print whatever you want to call it this one was actually new with tags and originally from American Eagle Outfitters which I don't really shop there like ever but this was like really cool I could not pass this up it's like this wrap top but it's like fleecy material and it's this gray cheetah print this top is literally my favorite find by far I'm also going to be keeping this one this is like it has shoulder pads and for some reason I actually kind of dig shoulder pads. I feel like it just gives a little extra sass to any outfit. This one gives me like western vibes. There has like fringe all on the back of it. It has like a tie up crop front. There's fringe all on the sleeves. I just think this is so cool and different. It even has like lace here. I don't know. I've never seen anything like this and when I was looking at it I was like is this cute or is it tacky and then when I brought it home and actually tried it on I was like dang that is cute. Yeah, next piece that I picked up was a denim vest and I I never ever really pick up vests that much. I feel like I was super into vests at one point, like leather vests. I had every vest. And then I saw this one and I was like, you know what? This would be such a look. I love the patch on it too. It says like stone jeans, but it's like in colors. And I love the light wash kind of vintage feel of this one. And I just can imagine myself wearing this with like a white turtleneck and then another pair of like light wash and jeans, like high waisted jeans, and just have like denim on denim. Canadian tuxedo. Ah, blah, blah, blah. Now, okay, this top. Oh, that brand like realization 
par I think that's how you say it super expensive brand very like sheer material really really cute stuff well, your girl's on a budget and cannot afford all of it so she's on the hunt at the thrift for those pieces a little bit of trend forecasting polka dots are going to be really really big I feel it coming spring and summer so your girl's been on the hunt found this blouse and it's like a cropped polka dot blouse and it just reminded me of the realization part brand and I just think it's so cute and I'm so excited to wear it with a pair of jeans obviously this would not be a threads haul without a Burberry London or an authentic Burberry top so I found this one with like a cute little neckline there it's just black plain you know but a little cute with a pair of jeans or shorts or whatever you want to wear it with black goes with everything and then I also found this Tommy Hilfiger polo top and I've been really getting into polo tops even more than before really into masculine pieces and like wearing them as like a, a, a girl I feel like I'm really into what's the word I'm looking for I don't know what the word I'm looking for is this striped navy and green one and it's a little bit longer so you could probably wear it as a dress but I feel like cut or like tucked in would look really really cute and this top and it is this Tommy 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 hill figure top this again it's just like that tacky 2000 vibe and your girl is into that oh look at more stripes more stripes so I found this BB top and I love BB again that tacky 2000s vibe hardy BB on Dutch Playboy, all that is totally up my alley along with like Tommy and Nautica and all those brands. That's kind of what my mood is right now is mixing those two together and then also adding a little bit of the 70s vibes and 80s vibes. Oh my gosh, I'm just like, I'm all over the place. Anyways, back to this. So I found this black and white striped BB top. I thought that was cute. One is just like a very sunshine inspired top. I feel red and orange and yellow and a darker yellow top, striped top. I just, I pick up every striped top that I see. <laughs> then I also found this Versace jeans green v-neck and green is another color that I've been loving because it goes so well with Maher. Another polo and it's actually polo. See what I did there? The polo Ralph, polo Ralph sport, polo sport Ralph Lauren. And it has the big saying on pocket. Another piece of like lingerie-ish type of thing. I have this yellow. It's a dress obviously like a lingerie dress but tucked in with like a pair of pants. It just looks really cute. This one was definitely a stripper's top, like even has her name in it. Hi, Kathy C. But it's really cute. This red snake skin. This is definitely something that you would see on Dolls Kill. It has like the lace up up the back of it and like little, you know, Kathy. Thank you. This top had the coolest like colorway going on. It's this Tommy Hilfiger yellow, green, and blue. I wish there was red also on the collar or somewhere like striped in it. That would have just been perfect. But unfortunately there is not. But it says like Hilfiger on the back of it. And it is another polo top. And then this again, that material, like that fluffy material that I've been loving. Found this fluffy black bustier top. I just thought that this was like cute and different. Talk about some cotton candy this polo Ralph Lauren I don't usually pick up these like polo tops because I see them all the time this one totally caught my eye with the pink and the blue I feel like this just reminds me of cotton candy and I love cotton candy and obviously had to throw some Ed Hardy into this haul found this Ed Hardy graphic top and if you didn't know Ed Hardy is coming back so get your Ed Hardy and then I also found this very 80s triangle kind of 80s gives me 90s vibes top with like the triangle has shoulder pads in it and it just like yeah I don't know it's just like colorful so obviously I had to pick it up down to the last couple of tops that I found this one's first is Lacoste another brand that is making a comeback I promise you so yeah this green one and then I also found this Chanel one which it doesn't have a tag so obviously it's probably not authentic or listen it says Chanel Paris on it and it's like feels cool so I got that one and then last but not least actually found a few like authentic guest pieces that are pretty cool and this one just says guess on it with like diamonds or not diamonds rhinestones kind of like tacky looking but you know the good type of 2000s tacky that I am living for okay guys moving on to some graphic t-shirts and <laughs> okay so to begin I'm not gonna show you guys all of these 
but these are all Harley Davidson t-shirts, graphic t-shirts, and honestly, some of the coolest graphic t-shirts. We have like a bunch of like Looney Tunes one. I guess maybe I will just show you guys them real quick. I see all the pictures better than this, but like Looney Tunes, Harley Davidson. Yes, thank you. Look at this one. This one is so cool. It's like blue, Harley Davidson. Look at the big old symbol, Harley Davidson. This one has like a Skull, Harley Davidson, Joker from Washington, cool. And then I also camo Harley Davidson. And then this one, which is Aruba Harley Davidson, and it says 1999, so it's from 1999. Holla, and then a yellow Harley Davidson, because I know you guys love yellow. I love yellow, you guys love yellow, obviously, because I love you. And so I have this Harley Davidson Grand and Young. Another good old Harley Davidson with the beagle shimbol. You need to take a moment. You need to just like take a moment for this one because honestly, holy sh this is incredible. Oh my gosh, this one is definitely staying with me. Look at that. Lightning bolt vibes. Yes. And I also have this blue one which has like a purple flaming Harley Davidson symbol. I'm sorry. What? And then also another. Okay, look how big this symbol is on here. This is the coolest one ever. Then I have this clown one, which is from Pennsylvania. Look at the clowns on it. And also this Harley Davidson one, which is like in this tan color, which I've never found like a Harley Davidson in tan color. But look at the like writing on it. And some more Looney Tunes, Harley Davidson. Look at the front of this. It has Tasmanian Devil literally screaming flames. How dope is that? Like, so cool. And then the last one that I have, this orange one with the big symbol, and it also has flames, and it's like sparkly. So some of the other graphics, other than Harley Davidson, that I've picked up so far. I have this crusty burger from The Simpsons. I don't know. I just thought this was kind of cool, you know? And then I also have this Jelly Belly one. You'll also see a lot of these graphics in my my recent trip to the thrift which will be going live the same time that this video is dropping so definitely go check that out and another vintage guest piece and it says guest denim with the star right there in a daddy's cute in a gray color way and then this shirt which I will also be keeping wolf top and I just thought this was so cool it has like it's double sided with wolf on it with like a pair of docks and jeans like y'all and then this one which I'm also keeping is this Los Angeles California one I just like writing on the American flag even though I'm from Canada but like it's just like so cool you know bro and I also found this one which is Club Monaco I love vintage Club Monaco pieces I have a Club Monaco sweater that I wear all the time I have another one to show you guys that I just found and then I also have this one which has a big stain on it I think because I was eating in it. <laughs> oh, another Harley Davidson one that we have is this one. It's new with tags actually, and I thought this was really cool. I've never seen this. It was actually in the women's section. And then last but not least, I also have this Ed Hardy red one, which obviously you guys know how I feel about Ed Hardy, so I had to show you guys that one. Okay, moving on to my favorite, favorite, favorite section, the jackets. It is my favorite section to thrift in. It is my favorite section to find cute things. And here in Canada, where it is freezing, you find so many cute jackets that I'm gonna share with you guys starting off with this bad boy If you saw one of my trip to thrifts you guys would have seen me thrift this and I after that trip to the thrift I got so many messages on my depop. Where's the Stussy jacket? It is this pink Stussy jacket and this was actually pretty inexpensive for a Stussy jacket Especially at the thrift. I think it was only like $14.99 crazy So I found this one. It is so cute and yes, it is staying in my wardrobe. In my wardrobe, I thrifted this in December, like a while back now, and I really wanted to wear it on New Year's, but I didn't do anything on New Year's because I have a new baby, aka my dog. I found this amazing blazer. It is so stunning. It is literally me in a piece of clothing. I love this. Three people tried to steal it from me, literally yanking it from my cart. I was like, get out of there. The next piece, if you had seen... <laughs> Instagram, one of my Instagram posts, you guys would have seen that I'm obsessed with a pair of pants that look like this with this pattern and I found it in a jacket this huge lease jacket oh my gosh this is such a look right now like honey 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 and then blazer jackets you need to get me out of the blazer section of the thrift there's so many times where I find the cutest blazers but like I do not need <laughs> more blazers I love vintage like 80s blazers and blazers with shoulder pads and the, uh, this blazer I could 
not leave. It's actually from Holt Renfrew. So you know that this was pretty expensive to begin with. Look how beautiful this pattern is. Okay, this next jacket was found in the little girl section and it is this Tinkerbell jacket. How cool is this jacket? It looks like a race car jacket, but it has Tinkerbell on it. And I thought it was just like kind of cute. It's something that you don't see every day. And I found this piece, which is this long Nike trench and it's gray, very grungy of situation. And I just thought this was really cool. Um, something that you don't usually see in a Nike piece, which was what I liked about it. But I feel like this could seriously be essential for somebody. Like you could literally wear it every day and it would look good with everything and you would look pretty bomb. Okay, my obsession with denim is just getting worse. Found two incredible denim jackets. One is this Barbie embroidered YTV jacket. How cool is this? These are pieces that you see at the thrift and you have to pick up because honestly, they're just so cool. You're never going to see them again. So you need to get them. That's just how I justify my crazy shopping addiction. Then I also found this embroidered Las Vegas, Nevada one, which if you are looking for a denim jacket, like this is just like way better than just the typical denim jacket because you know you look like you're just like simple in the front but then in the back it's just like boom, bam and then obviously this wouldn't be a haul without a Tommy Hilfiger jacket so I found this Tommy Hilfiger beige jacket and again this is such basic and like something that would go with literally everything you could wear every single day if you wanted it has like the good old flag on the back and it has the Hilfiger right on the heart this is one of my most recent pickups and it is this lime green velour feeling again jacket sweater look at this tag also I just feel like that is so bomb I'm losing my voice oh my god the next piece again I told you polka dots are in I found this polka dotted with the shoulder pads but they are removable but I found this jacket this blazer jacket it's a little bit longer it has like a tie-up thing so you could even cinch the waist and I also found this purple corduroy trench coat. Honey, what? Duh. Duh. I, duh. Then, this coat was like the coolest thing ever. I think I'm probably going to keep this. I'm a little undecided but I think I should keep it because I really don't need another coat but I really want to keep it. Probably keeping it. Is this, I don't even know what it is. It has like horses and it has just like the craziest looking pattern and giving me like Versace vibes or like some sort of like high fashion type of situation. It's just really cute. It has shoulder pads. I think I'm going to keep it because it's just so cute. I found a faux fur jacket that is is like zebra printed and I have my cow jacket so I'm like hmm maybe I should add this to the collection but then I see all my furs and I'm just like I don't need another jacket this one is up on my depop currently but I think it's so bomb and then I also found this jacket I actually didn't try this on at the thrift I was like you know what if it doesn't fit me then I will sell it and it's honestly the cutest thing ever it has the most bomb sleeves on it I just imagine like walking around in my mansion in my lingerie with this over top of it just like strutting around the next jacket that I found is this green one and this is also one that I might keep for myself. This is just like so cute and green. Green has been killing the game for me recently. Jacket was so bomb. Literally looked like a 2000s bougie bish. Imagine how much this actually cost in the time. This is faux fur baby fat bomber jacket. Actually so dope. Like I don't really know it's baby fat even. Like it's really cute but then like on the back like the, the symbol is low key there. So I mean if you want to get on that train a little bit earlier you could definitely pick that up these brands are all coming back just be ready okay and then another colorful piece this totally reminds me of something from lazy oaf because it's so colorful and heart filled lazy oaf always has like their classic heart on like everything i feel look at the color like the array of colors that this freaking cardigan has on the back it just has three hearts and getting into cardigans a little bit more i used to wear them all the time in high school with my uniform because you couldn't wear anything but your uniform but you could wear a cardigan so i was like I'm gonna take use this to my advantage so I wore one like every day and this jacket another zebra printed jacket it's so bomb anytime I find something by brand it's always pretty cool it's by the brand dollhouse I always see really different type of pieces by them it's a very heavy jacket and I feel like it would keep you really warm coming down to the final stretch or some of the best jackets so I found this blue leopard printed bomber jacket in the little girl section this is literally staying in my wardrobe this is like the coolest thing ever and I also found this red corduroy trench coat. Best to corduroy 
corduroy, yes to trench coat. Seeing those two together, yes, yes, yes. And this material, which I know what this material is called, tweed. Uh, I fell in love with this jacket as soon as I saw it. I love the green, obviously, in it. But I saw Kendall Jenner wearing a set very similar, like, with the same material. And then, last but not least, I also found another plaid jacket. And this reminded me of one that I saw a ton of girls wearing from, like, Windsor store or something. And I saw this, and I thought this was such a classic jacket, this peacoat. Yeah, it's in that, like, plaid. It's, like, just yellow, and it just gives me clueless vibes. But, yeah, that sums up the jacket. I'm gonna do with all that junk, all that junk inside that trunk. I'm gonna get Get you drunk on my home. One, two, some hoodies and sweaters and pullovers and sport hoodies and stuff. I know that some of you guys, this is your fan favorite. So let's get into it. So as I mentioned, I found a Club Monaco sweater and it's just this red, like kind of burnt red or oh, darker red, dark red, maroonish type of color. But Monaco pullover. This will be staying in my wardrobe because I have one in black and I literally wear every other day. I just love it. It just has big Club Monaco on it. I feel like it's just such an essential. And <laughs> girl found a coca-cola pullover sweater and it says coca-cola right there not only did i find it in red i found it in black thanks to the thrift gods the next piece that i have is something that i've never seen before and it's adidas bright orange and gray velour top this was in the little boy section and i ended up cropping it because i felt like i really wanted to keep it for myself i thought this was like the cutest way to rock it but i just thought this was so bomb the bright orange on it and the gray and the velour and just everything about it. It's like Adidas, but different. Okay, the next pieces that I found are some Nike pullover crew necks. I have one in navy, if I can find the symbol. I have one in navy, and then I also have one in maroon. Again, something that's such a staple for anybody's wardrobe, especially mine. I found two Harley Davidson pullovers. This one is in navy, and it's Harley Davidson Chicago. And this one is in gray, and it's uh, Illinois. Other uh, Los Angeles graphic t-shirt that I showed to you guys. I also found this one, which I thought was really cool. I feel like this is just a sign, like I need to move there. So I also found this Las Vegas yellow and red and black colorway. This sweater just gives me totally Gucci vibes. It has like the Gucci colorway on it. Really digging this. I might all actually keep this one also for myself. And then I also found this starter hoodie, which I personally have a starter hoodie of myself. Actually, it's a crew neck and it's blue and black. And I found this one, which is gray and black, but I thought this was really cool cool again another hoodie and this always looking out for that Disney stuff because I know you guys love Disney items and I've been personally getting more into wearing like Disney stuff myself Found this one which has like the seven dwarfs on it which I thought was so cute like so cute and then just another Tommy piece I have this Tommy Hilfiger zip up sweater which was in the little boy section and it's a little bit more crop too which is really cute I'm getting more into like zip up sweaters also like especially if you wear it like kind of like off the shoulder like a little bit make any sense at all okay, now moving on to some pants and dresses and skirts and all that this is literally my favorite thing to do right now is go to the thrift store and find cool pants you can always find like a bluish top or like something different for like on top of you I always think like a cool pair of pants always looks better than a cool shirt in my personal opinion oh so, these are not pants these are dresses but I found two very mod 70s 60s dresses and this one which is really cute it's like got the gingham and flowers all down it this one is is just like this plaid it reminds me like of a very like toddler Christmas dress but in a good way just imagine this like over top of a black turtleneck or something I have way too much leopard printed items pants to be completely honest like here's three just here by itself and I know I have more that I'm not showing you guys love leopard pants and as I mentioned you can always find a leopard top but who's ever gonna wear leopard pants me so I found these ones to begin with these ones are really cool because they have like a band on top and they kind of of like have a little bit of a kick flare to them similar to these ones so these are the ones that fit me really well that I'm going to be keeping for myself the other ones will be up on my depop but they're very similar these ones are so cute they just don't have the band they're literally the exact same they're velvet and they have a little bit of a flare to them they're skinny jeans which I also have a pair of skinny or printed pants jeans type of situation that I wear a lot these ones are also like kind of velvety feel but yeah these ones don't fit me unfortunately so I'm going to be also listing these ones up on my depop and the 
next pair of pants that I have to show you guys are some tartan pants and tartan and plaid pants are just such a trend right now. So many plaid pants guys. There's probably even more down there at the bottom. But, like these ones are just so cute. Red pants. These ones look like the ones that I wear a lot. And then I also have these ones which are like kind of like a tartan but kind of not. So good on also. I love these ones. These are like these white ones that are really cute. Kind of more like skinny. And these ones which are like red and blue that are really cool. And my favorite are obviously the tartan ones which I think that are so bomb. And like, like this is such a color combo. Oh, I'm digging it. Something else that I've been loving are cargo pants. Colorful cargo pants. It gives me such like 2005 vibes. I found these ones which are these bubblegum pink ones from J. Crew that I thought were really cute. I actually might keep these ones because they do fit me pretty nicely. And these ones which are from Esprit. So cute. So I think that I might keep these ones. And they're again like these kind of like cargo type of pants. These green ones which I wish fit me so badly because they're so dope. Probably the coolest pant I've found ever are these Playboy pants. These are so bomb. I'm definitely going to be keeping these for now. They're just a little bit big, but with a belt, I can definitely get away with them, and I can even, like, hide the belt behind the Playboy tag so you can really see that. They're just, like, yes. Thank you. These pants, which are, like, purple velvet, purple velvet type of flare pants, I think these are so bomb. Like, any colored pants, I'm into. These ones right here are, like, corduroy green pants and they're a little bit like straight wider leg type of pants like something that you would see definitely at Urban Outfitters going for about $80 right now obviously have a pair of Tommy jeans to show you guys I don't have much denim in this bin to show you guys because I feel like that just gets a little bit boring but if you're interested in any like Levi 501s those Tommy jeans there's tons listed up on my Depop I also have a couple pair of gingham pants that I thought were so cute that these fit me so badly they're very similar this these ones are a little bit bigger. These pants were like, I wasn't sure about getting them, but now that I did, I'm so happy that I got them. They're like these, I don't even know what these are called. I'm sure there's a name for them. Remind me of like vacation pants. Is that like a thing? But I just thought they were so cool with like all of the colors on them. As I literally have so many pants. Wish you could see this. Four corduroy pants. So I have red pair of corduroy pants. And I have a cobalt blue pair of corduroy pants. These ones are like high-waisted. They're both high-waisted actually. These ones might be staying with me. They're like these kick layer, kind of low rise type of pants and they're really cropped and just look at that pattern on them. They come with a belt even. They're so cute and they fit me. I wasted red pants, flowers, blue flowers all down them. A pair of pants in here is just so incredible to me. These freaking leggings. My gosh, look at the colors on this. This is so cool. And these, which are too small for me also, which these are probably like a 24 waist these in the little girl section. The chain on these pants. Oh my gosh. And then they just like go out and like they kind of flare a little bit. These are literally what you see on IMG right now going for like $80. And I also found like a pair of orange, bright orange flare pants. I wish that these pants all fit me. Like I would literally be rocking them every day. These ones however do fit me and I have been rocking them. Um, These ones are like, I don't even know what this pattern is. It looks like rocks or something. Bad interpretation. I don't know. But they're high waisted. They have like patch on the butt there. They're just so cute. They fit me so well. Stop there because getting a little bit ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie. You guys can check out my Depop for all of the pants. I also have the plaid skirt that's really cute. Actually a kilt, but I feel like that is such a colorway. Hey guys, moving on to the last section, the accessories. Let's start off with a bang and I'm going to show you guys something that is literally one of my favorite finds that I eat some time. I know that I say that a lot. One of the most bougie finds that I found in such a long time. My authentic Fendi bag. It is so dope. I actually have all the accessories in here currently. The next bag, which I'm also keeping in my wardrobe is this Von Dutch pink bag. I actually had one in blue too, but this one has like a long strap. No, I'm really into the 2000s vibes. This is not the most comfortable way to wear a bag. The fact that this has like a long strap is very handy. Such great condition. Along with that bag, how cute this be. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at this hat. Okay, with this hair right now, this is so dope. This is the cutest little leopardish type of hat ever. Gloves. I never thrift gloves but here it is freezing so I feel like I'm in that mood that I'm just like I need a pair of gloves. Found these which are so colorful and stripey. Obviously I found a pair of leopard ones. Next bag that I found is this yellow Adidas bag. I was shocked that this was still sitting around on like it was on like a Saturday and usually things are picked over by Saturday and this was still there. And then obviously the good old 
Hello Kitty, some sort of thrift haul. You cannot have a thrift haul without some sort of Hello Kitty piece. And then this obviously leopard print one. This is like the second one of the same bag that I found. I actually sold the first one, but I thought this was really cute too. And then moving on to some shoes. So I found these champion shoes are literally in such amazing condition. They're literally like brand new. I'm pretty sure they've been worn like twice. So I think I might keep these for myself because they do fit me very nicely. And then the next pair of shoes are just so cool. Remind me of something that are currently being sold at Zara, but they're like these plaid by the brand. And Soto, which is a more like old school type of shoe brand. And then look at these shoes that are vintage Aldo shoes. Like, I'm sorry, what? These boots are so cool. Look at them. If these fit me, I would totally keep them. But they're just a little bit too small. They're a size 7. These, which I will be keeping in my wardrobe for many, many years. Many, many years. <laughs> many years. They're like these platform boots that are kind of like docks, but like kind of better at the same time because they're different. They're just so perfect. And I wanted a pair of the Jaden boots by Doc Martin, but they're sold out everywhere and they're like $250. So I found these for $9.99 and they will be staying in my wardrobe. And the last pair of shoes that I found are these Nike yellow shoes. I feel like these are so bomb with like a pair of like Nike sweats or just like going out on an everyday basis. So just give an, a little extra like touch to any outfit because obviously because they're yellow. Duh. I have one random thing to show you guys because I didn't know why what section to put that this in but it's actually pajamas and I'm wearing the bottoms to them because uh, youtuber life they are these cherry pajamas and they, so they have the cherry bottoms and then the cherry top also and yeah I just thought this was so cute and I, I've been wearing them to bed like every night and then last but not least I have some belts to share with you guys I love finding belts at the thrift store it's just like totally my thing a couple belts that I found is this blue flame one this orange checkerboard one two of like the belts that I'm going to be keeping these two actually um, this one is like a blue one and this one is a red one and they're kind of like those ones that like put at any length and with like my blazers that I've been obsessed with this would look so cute tied around the waist so I'm gonna be keeping these two and then this one is one that I think I also want to keep but I'm not sure yet it's the star one with the little same classy thingy and that sums up this thrift haul I love you guys. Thank you so much. If you've stuck around for this long, oh my god, you must be hungry. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up for more thrift hauls. Let me know what your favorite item was in this thrift haul. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.